there were these two guys out hiking when they came upon an old abandoned mine shaft. Curious about its depth, they threw in a pebble and waited for the sound of it striking the button. But they heard nothing. They went and got a bigger rock, threw it in and waited. Still nothing. They searched the area for something larger and came upon a railroad tie. With great difficulty, the two men carried it to the opening and threw it in. While waiting for it to hit the button, a goat suddenly darted between them and leaped into the hole. The guys were still standing there with astonished looks upon their faces from the action of the goat when a man walked up to them. He asked them if they had seen a goat anywhere in the area and they said that one had just jumped into the mine shaft in front of them. The man replied, oh no, that couldn't be my goat, mine was tied to a railroad tie. <laughs> a shoe seller meets a mathematician and complains that he does not know what size shoe to buy. No problem, says the mathematician. There is a simple equation for that, and he shows him the Gaussian normal distribution. The shoe seller stares some time at the equation and asks, What is that symbol? That is the Greek letter pi. What is pi? That is the ratio between the circumference and the diameter of a circle. Upon this, the shoe seller cries out, What does a circle have to do with shoes? <laughs> One night, a drunk comes stumbling into a bar and says to the bartender, Drinks for all on me, including you, bartender. So, the bartender follows the man's order and says, That will be $65, please. The drunk says he has no money, so the bartender slaps him around and throws him out. The next night, the same drunk comes in again and orders a drink for everyone in the bar, including the bartender. Again, the bartender follows instructions and again the drunk says he has no money. So the bartender slaps him around and throws him out. On the third night, he comes in, the drunk orders drink for all except the bartender. What? No drink for me, replies the bartender. Oh no, you get violent when you drink. <laughs> A mother was teaching her three-year-old daughter the Lord's Prayer. For several evenings at bedtime, she repeated it after her mother. One night, she said she was ready to solo. The mother listened with pride as she carefully enunciated each word right up to the end. And lead us not into temptation, she prayed, but deliver us some email. Amen. <laughs> Does an elephant ever forget? Only if you loan him money. <laughs> Do you ever get the Vuja Day feeling? Not deja vu. This is Vuja Day. The strange feeling that none of this has ever happened before. <laughs> a guy walks into a bar with a dog under his arm puts the dog on the bar and announces that the dog can talk and that he's willing to bet anyone who says he can't. The bartender quickly takes the bet and the owner looks at the dog and asks, what's the thing on top of this building which keeps the rain from coming inside? The dog answers, roof. The bartender says, who are you kidding? I'm not paying. The dog owner says, how about double or nothing and I'll ask him something else. The bartender agrees and the owner turns to the dog and asks, who was the greatest basketball player of all time? The dog answers with a muffle, Ruth. With that, the bartender picks them both up and throws them out the door. As they bounce on the sidewalk, the dog looked at his owner and says, DiMaggio. <laughs> A man had been out in the backwoods for weeks, cutting logs. He was a bit scruffy and didn't smell very good. Finally, he needed a break and came into town for a few beers. In the bar, he saw the local jock 
of the town's football team. He was bragging about his girlfriend and how he was lucky to have him for a boyfriend. The lumberjack, after drinking six bottles of beer, was heard to say, Buddy, if she went out with me, she'd never go out with you ever again. To which the local jock replied, Hey, buddy, if she went out with you, she'd never go out with anyone ever again. <laughs> A man is in a bar and he falls off his stool every couple of minutes. He's obviously drunk. So the bartender says to another man in the bar, why don't you be a good Samaritan and take him home? The man takes the drunk out the door and to his car and he stumbles at least 10 times. They drive along and the drunk points out his house to the man. He stops the car and the drunk stumbles up the steps to his house with the man. The drunk's wife greets them at the door. Thank you for bringing him home for me, but where is his wheelchair? <laughs> A man said his credit card was stolen, but he decided not to report it because the thief was spending less than his wife did. <laughs>